Hi, this is Chantel from a CI 149 class at Fresno State. It's an introductory teaching class with technology. I'm going to show you how to put this Twitter feed right here on my digital portfolio homepage. You can do this with any Google sites. We're going to have to do a little bit of a workaround because you can't just use a Twitter widget anymore for Google sites. They do, don't like the outside JavaScript. So first I'm going to go over to Twitter and anywhere from any page that you are on Twitter you're going to hit this gear box and you come down to settings. So that's, that's exactly where I was right now. But I'm going to go down to widgets. I currently don't have any, any widgets. So I'm going to create a new one. And with the Twitter widgets you can use a couple options. You can do user timeline which is everything that I posted. Just got done with a great California Ed um, chat last night. You can do favorites, so things I favorited. You can also do search. So since my digital portfolio is about CI149 class, I'm going to go ahead and search for anything that my fellow classmates have typed in. So CI149. I'm going to click off of that to bring up. Oh, great. Jay, Jay said something a little while ago. So here are a couple options. I'm going to go ahead and keep these the same. I'm going to keep the height the same at, at default. Remember that it's 600 pixels. I can change the theme from light to dark, but I'm going to go ahead and keep mine light because my, my digital portfolio is light. I can change the link color, which is this color right here. I'm going to go ahead and go with blue. Alright, a little bit darker blue. I'm going to create my widget, so click on this button, create widget. And then it's going to give me this script, so I'm going to command or control C to copy. If I'm going a little fast, just go ahead and you know pause any time. Then I'm going to go over to my home page. Perfect. Okay. So, I need to actually add a script in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up a note box. I'm going to give you guys this, this notepad um, text right here in the, in the link. So, with this, we're going to highlight right here. This is where you place your Twitter script. I'm going to control or command V to paste what, what we copied from Twitter. I'm going to save this as an XML, so I'm going to go home, come over here and say save as. So this is Twitter script CI149. I'm going to hit dot XML dot period XML. I'm going to save it. Great. Okay, now we're done with this notepad, so I can go ahead and close this. So on our home screen, um, or for anyone or anywhere from Google Sites, I'm going to hit more. We're going to come down to Manage Site. Under Manage Site, we're going to need to upload an attachment, which is that notepad thing that we just did right now. So, under right here, I'm going to hit Attachments, and we're going to come over to Upload. So, I'm going to search through my Twitter feeds. Perfect. I found this one right here. Twitter feed script. And open it. So what's going to happen, it's going to upload, and then we're going to need to find the location of it. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to hover over the word download, and we're going to come over and copy address link. So we're going to copy that. We're going to need that in a couple minutes. Go back to my home page. So CI149 Show Walter, just hit this right here. Come to the corner. We're at my home page. We're going to edit it by clicking on the pencil. Come in and insert. We're not going to insert any of these gadgets or anything. Unfortunately, we can't do HTML box right here. We're going to hit more gadgets. And here's some options that you can pull somebody else's gadget in, but we're going to actually add gadget by URL. And right here, we're going to delete the HTTP because we are, we're going to have one when we hit Control or Command V to paste. We're going to add this in now. Great, okay, and remember earlier how we the height was 600, so let's go ahead and make this height right here for 600 pixels, perfect. And trial error on my site, I actually want my width to be 500 pixels. Alright, I'm just going to hit OK. And look, the vanilla box, great. So we're going to click on the box, and we bring up this gear, and we can go back to changing the settings or properties, but I'm going to actually center mine by hitting the center and line right there. Wonderful, I'm going to save this, and here is CI149, Google, I mean Twitter chat. Alright, if you have any questions, find me on uh, Google Plus, or uh, on Twitter, so I'm going to put that link in in a couple minutes for you guys, thanks.